When your president met our queen at Buckingham Palace last year, he rolled up in The Beast, a huge reinforced Cadillac built to resist bullets, missiles, even chemical attacks. There were also 200 Secret Service agents in tow, although what they got up to in the evenings is anyone's guess. Buckingham Palace can be a, a pretty risky venue for visiting dignitaries. Her Majesty, of course, is always perfectly charming, but Monty, Holly and Willow are a law unto themselves. These three little corgi dogs may not look threatening, but they tend to chase people and then bite them. Now, five years ago, the Queen herself was spotted with a bandaged wrist after intervening to break up a canine squabble. The wound to the royal hand required three stitches. Corgis, of course, were originally bred to help round up cattle, so they usually go for your ankles. And when you see pictures of famous people with their heads bowed down in front of the Queen, they are probably on the lookout for those dogs. But you're thinking, why doesn't she simply lock them up when she's in entertaining you? You don't know our Queen. She's had corgis for years. Her dad, King George VI, gave her a puppy for her 18th birthday. She's bred them, she's besotted by them. They've got their own official menu, poached chicken, liver, rabbits, pheasant, and home-baked scones, which Her Majesty crumbles up and personally adds to their dishes every day. They've got their own room in Buckingham Palace, you know, and each Christmas, the Queen fills three little stockings with presents for her pets. These dogs accompany her everywhere. At one notorious state banquet, a corgi, now dare I say this, indiscreetly peed on the rug. Her Majesty didn't bat an eyelid. She summoned the master of the royal household, rear admiral, or somebody or other, who commandeered a blotting pad from the Queen's writing desk and then went down on his hands and knees to deal with the damp patch. Everyone else pretended not to notice. The corgi breed has been in decline for a little while. Only 300 puppies used to be registered every year, but they are now making a significant comeback, thanks to Her Majesty's Diamond Jubilee and her three, sometimes ill-tempered, four-legged friends. This is Ed Boyle for CBS News in London.